Bang. James Bond intro. What's up guys, Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at Vault Tech Workshop for Fallout 4. This is, uh, well it's the second to last bit of DLC for Fallout 4. The, uh, the only other one coming up is Nuka World, and this is essentially, a uh, well it's like a stuff pack. I don't know if you've ever played The Sims. It's like, uh, it's like high-rise living stuff. It's like, uh, Fallout 4 university life slash season slash pet stuff pretty pretty much except this is all it's gonna be a bunch of vault related furniture for you to deck out your your uh your little settlements with uh to get this quest you have to come down to quincy quarries it's uh it's here on the map if you're playing on a character that's lower leveled under 20 to be exact, the quest won't pop, so you'll have to look up on the internet where to find this, and then just run there. And, uh, when you get here, you listen to this radio station. This is an emergency broadcast signal from Vault 88. Authentication code word, Impish. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under Emergency Protocol VT-76. Us, though, we just, uh, you know, we're humble mailmen. We have a letter to deliver to Vault 88. There's somebody inside, and uh, we're just gonna go deliver it. That's, uh, that's kind of my role-playing character. I am a wasteland mailman, and that's, that's weird to me to see, to see dead bodies. But you know what? It's never stopped me from delivering a letter before. Why, why would it start now? And we're going into this cave. The cave's down here. What joys will await us? I, I don't know. We're, we're like Tom Hanks. Will we deliver the box? The letter? Or will we have to open it ourselves? I don't know. Cease at once. The vault doors were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Your attempts to breach this facility are laughable. Hey guys. When will you tire of this Probably should have loaded the gun uh before that. Good thing he just had a pool cue on him. Wow, 32 flares. That's so many considering I've never used a flare once. Delivery? Sometimes I order delivery and uh Just stop already. Oh, she doesn't know that we have the actual thing. Good thing we had that little plug. I don't know how else we would have broken through this plastic this plastic lid here. Vault what? tech calling. You have a pit boy? Wait. Are you Vault Tech? Have you finally come to save me? Please. I'm trapped behind a mountain of rubble. The key to freeing me is getting the workshop operational. Oh, God. First, lift the security lockdown and get to the reactor room. Sometimes I order things. I live in New York City, and I can't really blame them. I do live in a five-story walk-up. Sometimes I order things for delivery. It's been hard to maintain the faith. I knew he doesn't so seem dead. But you can assure Dr. Braun, if he's even still around, that I have used the time productively. The great work is ready to begin. The point is they don't walk up the five flights of stairs, and uh, I have to come meet them in their car. Once I ordered food, and yeah, literally the guy was sitting in his car, and he handed me the food through his driver's side window. You know, like... Like a shady drug deal. Okay. Lifting the security lockdown. And if we were weird, we would, uh, once again listen to our sad holotape. Vault Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there and you should find it. 
How great would that be, though, if for every companion we recruit, we sit them down and make them listen to our super sad hollow tape that our wife recorded for us before they died? And we're just sitting there, like, staring at them while they listen to it, like, as if to judge their reaction. Like, isn't it? It's touching, right? What what a thing to do. What a, what a wonderful thing. vault Tech killed everyone we know and love, but, uh, sure, we'll go play dress-up in an empty warehouse for them. I assume that's what we're doing. Where's our, uh, Vault 88 suit? Can't, can't find it. Oh, shit. Security Chief Anderson. Why would they pick a ghoul to be their security chief? It makes no, no sense. You like those sirens? Did I mention that I live uh, right next to a fire station and that New York City is in a constant state of burning to the ground? Anyways, like I said, we're playing a postman build here. So I don't know how uh, we're gonna get roped into this whole... We, we already found a new calling and it wasn't by vault -Tec, it was by the old USPS. Clear the rubble. Cool, I was wondering how we were gonna clear the rubble. Turns out, uh, we're just literally gonna clear it like, like anything else in Workshop. We're gonna go up to it and, uh, and delete it. <laughs> too, too bad she didn't have this power. She's been trapped here for 200 years. All she had to do was figure out how to use the X button. All she had to do was, was click on the workshop. Okay. Hey there. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault. But you're clearly not with vault -Tec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? Oh, I forgot, we're doing a, a, a pure, sarcastic playthrough. Actually, I'm here to offer you the bargain of a lifetime. What would you say to a vintage set of encyclopedias? Act now. An encyclopedia? Uh, 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 humor. Can, can you tell Maybe that the voice actor long. has aged a little bit that. since he had to voice that. this character? My name is Valerie Barstow. And I was to be the overseer of this vault. There's a ghoul right in the background. Follow me. He just I pretended to go to sleep. See that ghoul right on the left? He just pretended to go to sleep. Remember that ghoul. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then the earthquakes. Sirens. Many died. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation. These are evil characters, right? Holy sh... Okay, please continue with your little exposition. I'm, uh, just being murdered. I'm sorry. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. Okay, so now we have to kill all of her friends, which I guess isn't very emotional for her. She, like, tells us their names. Oh, that was Jonathan. That was Sally. Jonathan had had a bit of a crush on Sally, and she never wondered. She was never like, yeah, they went crazy. He was obsessed with that toy rocket ship. She, she would never let go of that plastic fork. She died actually eating a, a Dole fruit cup from the commissary. Oh, that's not you. That's a guy. I'm about to kill a guy who was going to sleep. This is the guy from before. With that control board, I could have changed everything. But there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here we are. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with you. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related... Well, experiments. That could redefine society. When we were scrapping but, that stuff, see, was that supposed to symbolize us using like a machine? Yeah, and, and here's the other thing. vault are bastards who who killed our wife. Fuck their their dreams and her life work. vault destroyed my life. 
vault -Tec can burn for all Now I'm just a fucking mailman, I... lady. Listen, I understand that a former vault resident could harbor certain feelings. I'll tell you what. These experiments... I will let you... You know, an eye for an if eye. If you find anything unconscionable, just don't do it. Or change the parameters of the experiment. I assure you these devices can make people's lives better. Just give me a chance. You can tell this was maybe supposed to take place um, after I've found Sean. I'm still looking for the kid. I have a pretty good lead in the main storyline, but uh, I think I'll take a detour to a playhouse with this lady. You've got a deal, Overseer. Good. Let's move forward. We cannot begin until I have my Overseer's desk. To run the Wait, I don't get to be the overseer? The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Cool. Hope I've collected enough uh, hot plates and broken light bulbs to do all that shit for you. How's this? Do I have to, like, I have to make her a desk, I think is what it's telling me to do. This is where I'm going to build the vault right here? Is that really? Yeah, build the desk. Build the desk. It's like in a cardboard box. It's in an IKEA box. I open up the I open up the container. It has like one of those little illustrated guides. You know the little cartoon IKEA guys, but one of them is a ghoul and the other one is a uh, is Vault Boy. Okay, I guess I'm building this lady a desk is is what's happening. She had 200 years to put together a desk, but uh good good thing I showed up. I'm going to start by uh, getting rid of your mood lighting. You no longer get a box. Welcome to darkness. Oh, I feel like this is already connected to my supply lines. I feel like you might get an automatic connect to supply lines here. Um, I'm just going to scrap a bunch of this stuff. Can't scrap these guys. I feel like our vault's going to have a lot of uh, experiments that have to do with coping with dead ghouls I, I can scrap the whole machine the the mega loader that I used to uh, to save the day I could scrap that I could scrap this whole train just scrap a fucking train that's a uh... you can tell this expansion's not about immersion can I scrap this railroad tracks can I scrap uh, this rock slide Okay, and I probably can't go back there. Scrap the mass graves that she threw everybody else in after uh, they started to die. I'm gonna keep that trunk. That's a hey, that's a nice trunk. You got anything for me? Nope. Okay, I'm looking for like an outfit. Is this like Mama Murphy's chair? Am I gonna be able to place it once and then uh, then I'm fucked if I don't like where to put it? I'm just gonna scrap this desk and and put it there. Hmm. How's that for a magic trick? They still have that problem where if I'm looking at this and I press A to build the desk, I'll pick up that. So I kind of have to look up at the ceiling to build an overseer's desk. And here's what's in an overseer's desk. You got wood, steel, rubber, copper, circuitry, and aluminium. Just kidding. I'm American. I call that aluminum. And we'll put this... Uh, I'm actually Canadian. I don't know why I said I'm American. I have a denim jacket with a Canadian flag sewn on it, for Christ's sake. That's like a passport there. This produces one smiley face emoji. You got games on this thing, kid? Let me see. I'm, I'm like her little brother waiting for my computer time. You almost done? She's like, yeah, give me five minutes. I'm like, cool, I'm going to sit here. And then that she leans over and hits you, remember that? Oh, I can talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you from this side because it makes more sense. Um. This. Please. I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long. Hey, I got a fun hollow tape I want you to listen to. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials. 
You need the perfect test subject. So what makes perfect test subjects? Healthy. Well, healthy why am I blurry? Do I have a concussion? And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. I'm hallucinating. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. This is all just one trip I'm I'm having with Mama Murphy right now. Hey lady, by the way, I have a package I want to give to you. You ever, you ever seen a little movie called Castaway? Let's find ourselves a guinea pig. The Vault Tech Handbook urges overseers to refrain from using that word. No matter how apt. Turn on the Vault's radio beacon. Certainly people above ground would give anything to live in our Vault. While we wait for word to spread. Perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. What's your WPM there, uh, Barstow? Chunk. That's a satisfying switch. I'd feel a little, uh, cheated if I followed a radio beacon into, like, a very dangerous quarry hoping for safety, and then I come down and there's just one crazy lady sitting at a desk. She's gone. One crazy lady and one man who's clearly, clearly lost all hope of ever finding his family. He's just kind of dicking around at this point. He's joining a lot of extracurricular clubs. He's meeting people. He's socializing. I'm going to use her, her computer when, when she's not around. Prime Directive. Vault 88 is designed to test a variety of prototype devices with the aim of rolling them out through the rest of the vaults. Once Vault 88 is fully operational, we expect to roll out new devices every fiscal quarter. The initial prototypes are to cost $4.99. Whoa, whoa. Okay. We're earthbenders. We just scrapped the shit out. How did we are? Our strength is a three, by the way. I know we made ourselves super, super buff, but uh, our strength is still just a... Uh, low low number and i guess we're gonna have to probably fight some people here so we gotta pop a new tennis ball into our gun and uh get started you alive bro no i hear someone though oh, okay cool it's a brood mother cool we got two brood mothers and one brood that's very uh, forward thinking of bethesda to include that that is a very politically correct brood going on two moms one brood where are we going what are we doing are we gonna scrap this tractor okay fuck that fuck that wall hopefully this leads back to holy shit no no quick in the middle of this fight i'm gonna scarf down an entire melon Okay, guys, we're gonna go conduct some interviews with the Overseer. Hopefully, uh, we get some good candidates. We posted on Craigslist, we posted on Indeed.com, we posted on Monster. You ever had to interview somebody for a position? I've been interviewed for jobs, and I've had to interview people for jobs. Uh, neither are fun. Because sometimes you interview somebody for a job and you just feel sorry for them. And, uh, I mean, you probably know what it's like interviewing for a job. It, it sucks. You try and act normal, and you go in and you're like a completely different version of yourself. You're like a f freaking weirdo. Okay. I'll just wait over there. A ghoul? Uh, I don't know about this. <clears throat> just a moment and we can begin. Please, step forward. Ah, yes. Welcome. Well, are we gonna do like a hot so or not? This here is a vault, right? Quite correct. What's and your weekend availability you like? New residents. You do got food in this vault, right? Of course. And a chance at a new life. A question or two first, however. What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? Ooh. Love to do the speech check, but we're going for a pure sarcastic playthrough. Also, I forgot to put on our other stuff, so now we're a sexy mailman. We're with the Reformed Raider Party. Tell me, can we count on your vote in November? What? 
but whatever this is, I'm on to you. Yes. Sorry about my associates. Yes. Humor. You won't do for our special assignment. But welcome to our vault. Your new home. If she is representative of what's left above, the outside world must be rougher than I imagine. What about Siegfried and Roy over Are here? You ready for the next interview? Would it kill them to at least prepare a resume? Heck, even a cover letter would do. That would expedite the process. Dang, the voice actor, he well, took an he took an improv 101 next. between recording Hello. sessions. Okay, we got to get the next guy. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I am so happy to be here. Hi. My name is Clem. Uh, yes. Okay, this is Clem, our stooge. Clearly they set up the other two. Before you settle in, I have some and he's going to be like our weird, oh, over-eager okay. guinea pig. Uh, sure. I, I'll answer anything you like. Well, uh, that's good. Here's a scenario. You've been assigned guard duty. You know, stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you want. But I don't hear any screaming, lady overseer. Oh, he's stupid, but... But he's, he's, he's the best we got. And it's, it kind of sucks. May, maybe we shouldn't do an all sarcastic playthrough. Because I kind of want this gentle idiot to, to survive the apocalypse. Nothing to be nervous about. Think about it and answer. Yeah, s sorry. Well, if you tell me to guard, I guard. And I won't leave my post unless you tell me to. Is, is that okay? Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She killed, she killed a mole rat once. Really? I just killed a death claw and I, and I was uh, naked. That's remarkable. Describe the traits you most admire about her. Well, she was strong. Is she giving the goat the, the goat exam? And she, uh, uh, she, she fed me. God, I, I'm sorry. The, this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. He, I guarantee he was probably living in one of the settlements I set up. So, so that's kind of like a dick thing to say. Because probably I, like I built that I ditch. We found our man. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Uh, found what exactly? We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. Someone to test some new devices that will help everyone. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? I, 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 I mean, yes. I'll help out. I like helping. That's me, Clem. Always willing to help out. Yes. If his name is Clem, why, why is it still uh, just Settler? Nicely. And no time like the present to commence. The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. There should be supplies in the welcome area near the entrance. Can I switch out my shitty old pit boy? I think it's like covered in ghoul gunk and nasty stuff like that. But no? Okay. We can't, we don't have like a pit boy XL. Maybe like a, a new pit boy XL DSI. Clem, let's get you outfitted like a real vault dweller. Our first vault residence. What a moment. But on to business. Exercise is an inherently selfish activity. Instead of using every hour, every minute, to further the goals of the community, a resident instead improves their body past the minimum requirements. vault has devised a solution. The Power Cycle 1000. There were incidences during its R&D. Maybe even the stray cerebral hemorrhage. What? Overseer? Oh, Clem. Don't worry yourself. This model won't suffer from those defects. Oh, good. What well, the hell? Clem was ascending into the hyperbolic time chamber. Let me download 
give the schematic to your pip boy. Build it and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. What I'd like to trade some items. Okay. Oh, good. The stock line. They didn't. They didn't re-record that. Um, I'm really guessing this will just be like we'll build a, instead of being like a defense post where you can assign someone, you get defense. You'll build a bicycle and assign them to it, and you'll get power. It's kind of weird forcing adults to dress in like skin tight long johns, but you know when in Rome, it's it's just kind of the thing you do. If you were going to go into a vault and they were all wearing skin tight, like spandex suits, you you do it too, right? You wouldn't be the only guy in regular clothes. You'd be like, I want to fit in. Cool. Found some ceramic. I was getting kind of worried there. This is clearly for people who have beaten the game uh, and have a ton of materials ready to go. I was really worried I would have to scrap a train and then get angry when there was not a bit of ceramic on it or a toilet in sight. So now we can build a generator. I kind of just want to set this one thing up because it's driving me crazy. You can see though they have some new stuff. They have a vault tech reactor which gives 150 power. Um, a vault tech super reactor which gives 500 power which is ridiculous and I guess is meant to power your whole vault and be kind of a workaround for a uh, you know, punishing characters who are trying to jump into the DLC before beating the main game, but I'm playing this on PC and not Xbox. I also don't know anything about working with terminals. I kind of built some settlements, but that was it. So if you don't like doing that, building stuff, you might not like this. By discreetly injecting small dosages of buff out, not only will the test subject pedal longer and faster, but potentially they'll... S okay, so blah 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 blah. Give them drugs to pedal longer. Well, let's accept those parameters. I'm trying to be nice to Clem here. Let Clem ride for an hour. Alright, dude. Valentine hated that. Valentine, that was in lieu of shocking him to death. So I... I'll keep pedaling. This is... Kind of fun. Cue in a uh, welcome to Jurassic Whoa, Park music. Was... Welcome to Vault 88. As you can see, oh, we have a wasted boy. tower, we have an old train that doesn't work, and we have a Clem on a bicycle. Push Clem to the limit. The power must flow. Hey, that's a reference to science fiction. I just need to trade gear with you. I just got so excited that I Shit. Clem, you idiot. You were supposed to have drugs, not blow the whole thing up. He, he broke it. This took longer to put together than the overseer's desk. I had to paint this one blue and yellow to match your special little spandex hey, suit. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I broke your vault. I, I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job. Report back to overseer. All right, lady. Hey. I was looking hey. At the data. Super casual. Hey, what's up? The power output of the unit was, well, acceptable. Is that test done already? I want to do more. We're Nick's like checking his Facebook Such discreetly. Enthusiasm is to be delivered before. Well, before. But with the mail service out of commission. The mail service. Other arrangements must be made. Nice. You know, the Great War did a whole lot more than ruin mail routes. Yeah, and that's coming from a real mailman. After all these years, I can hardly wrap my head around the enormity of the tragedy. Please, can we just focus on this? Just get Overseer Barstow's package from the HQ. You know, maybe this game, uh, it, it has improved on context because why else would she talk about mail if she wasn't in the presence of a... You know, I've promoted myself to Postmaster General in, in these trying times. That's, that's what I've become. So it looks like we're getting some quests to pop. Um, Clem's cycling away like an idiot. That other lady, who knows what she's doing. Got it. Oh no, she's just standing in the middle of nowhere like a weirdo. This thing is, that is, we're in a non-ventilated environment. I don't know if that's smelling too, too clean right now. Anyways, guys, that is a, a look at the first few quests in a... The vault tech workshop looks like we got uh what else do we have here we have the watering hole 
where we get chemical research from Hallucigen Inc. And we have, uh, well, I think that's the only one at this point. But we'll do those next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like and a subscribe if, uh, if you liked what you saw. And we'll, we'll, ch we'll, we'll uh, catch you on the uh, right settler. Can I rename? Is Clem, does Clem have a name? No, nope. yeah, Clem got a name. The future looks bright for you, uh, Doris. We'll see you next time. I just named her Doris. That's not her name. Later, guys.